So I'm starting to deck a few logs up here. Need to get them all stacked up and probably move my extra lumber I got and put them there. Right over in here, got a fun toy coming. It was on back order, but uh, so it's going to take about 12 weeks. But I picked up a Woodlands Mill HM. When I picked up a Woodland Mills HM 126, got the uh, 19 horsepower motor option bed extension bandsaw mill and uh, got like the lap siding and automatic grinder. Got, got everything, the full setup for it. So I'll start playing with that and you know, get it set up there and mill it up. I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being middle of May before I get it when I ordered it they said uh, 12 week back order I think ship dates into April then two weeks lead time to get here so we'll see and good chance they'll add another week onto that because uh, being real rural sometimes we have a hard time you know the the big shippers like that will only come out here one day a week and then I got, oh, excuse me, got a hook up here with a friend that uh, hooked me up with some reject cants and we'll uh, knock out some boards in a hurry on the sawmill with that once we get it. So, definitely looking forward to that one. Uh, watched a bunch of different videos, well, on YouTube, where else? And found, uh, kind of what the best uh, best sawmill for the money you know in that price range in my opinion you know I know a lot of people like the wood misers but wood misers are quite a bit more money you know and this woodland mill seem to have most of the features they have and definitely have a heck of a lot more well built than the harbor freight and 40 other manufacturers like that so I'm definitely excited to get it and uh, start milling some of this up. I think I'll have to uh, had a plan in the back of the head to the hoist that's on the truck there. I got some stuff sitting out there and build a bigger, stouter one. Maybe hook some uh, high 12 volt hydraulic pump up to it and stuff. I'll have to do that so I can start loading up some bigger, bigger logs because I think it's like a 26 inch diameter or something. Uh, that thing can take and the uh, logs that were out here. Let me spin you around. And watch away from there. But like the biggest log there is nowhere near that. You know, they're 15, 16, I think there might be one that's 18 inches. And, you know, a green dug fir, 8 foot and 18 inches is a workout for that little hoist. and. Uh, I think I can mill up to 16 foot with the bed extension so the uh, I suppose the ideal one would be to get a tractor but oh, I got too much crap as it is and run out of run out of room to store it all so I think the hoist will just be a better option for what I got going so yeah I'm pretty excited for that thing to show up I'll see if I can figure out how to uh, maybe cut a picture of it in. But, you know, it's just the, the woodland mills. So, you know, definitely knock out a lot of 2x4 and 2x6 and, and all that good stuff and kind of throw that in, you know, slab it thick and you know get the firewood off that when you're doing it so can't wait for that to arrive I plan on uh, I'll go ahead and make some videos when it comes to set up uh, the ones that I've watched out there seem to breeze over it fairly fast and I think it's gonna be a if not two days it's gonna be one really long day to get it all set up and leveled but can't wait for that to get in. Okay, catch you later.